A common mistake developers make is they have a Canvas app pointing to a dev SharePoint environment and they think, oh, when I deploy it, it's just going to start pointing to my production SharePoint site, which isn't true. It's going to keep pointing to your dev SharePoint site. So to fix this, they try to open the solution, change the connections, and it gets messy. The trick is when you make your SharePoint connection, do not pick one of the sites you already have. Instead, you want to come over here under advanced and use environmental variables. My name's Sean, and I'm excited to show you how. We'll start this process by building a new solution. If you don't know what I'm doing here, check out my video on solutions and click create. First, I'm going to add an environment variable. And this is for the SharePoint site itself. And I've called it SharePoint site outdoor activities. And under data type, I can come into here and click data source. And then under the connector, I'm going to pick SharePoint. Unfortunately, you have to use personal connections. You can't use connection references yet. And under parameter type, click site. It'll show you all the sites you have access to. Quick warning, once you make a SharePoint site variable, you can't make another one. You can only have one per site in your environment. This one is my dev SharePoint site, so I'm gonna click here on save. A site is variable one, but we also want the list inside of the SharePoint site. In this case, we wanna press back into new, come down to more, and then select environment variable again. I've called this one SharePoint list activities form, and under data type, I'm gonna come down to data source again, and this time, I'm gonna choose SharePoint. However, under parameter type, I'm gonna choose list. And if we scroll down, I'm gonna be able to choose all of the lists that are available, which are the same lists that I see in this SharePoint site here. In my case, I want outdoor activities form dev and then click save. Let's make a Canvas app to use this SharePoint list. I'm clicking Canvas apps, give it a name, click create. Let's go over here and click on data and then add data, and I'm gonna type in SharePoint. And here you gotta be careful that you don't accidentally create more connections than you need. So I'm gonna click on a connection I made earlier, and this is key, you wanna click on advanced over here, and then right there is my SharePoint site that I just made. And then don't click one of these because we already made it. Come over here to advanced, and then pick the one we already made. Because if you click one of these, it's gonna make your variable again, and then click connect. So now I'm just gonna come down here and pick a vertical gallery using this connection we just made. And as you can tell by these records, it's pulling from this SharePoint list. And let's save it, and then let's publish. And now the fun part, let's deploy this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and click back, I'm going to select my solution and you can export the solution as a zip. If you have deployment pipelines like I do, which are super easy to set up, I'm going to use this. I already made a pipeline for it. Now I'm going to come here and press deploy. And I love these AI description notes it generates. You'll see. Click next. I'm gonna use the same connection. A service account is better here instead of these personal accounts. Let's change this SharePoint site we're going to. Instead of dev, we're gonna to go to the prod one. And look at these convenient notes that a developer would rarely write. This variable defines information about outdoor activities and instructors. That's a pretty good job based on this context. And let's deploy. It's deployed, and if we come to our prod environment here, and then we click on manage solutions, here is the solution, and it was created three minutes ago. And if we go to our actual app, and then we play that, you will see this app is not pulling from our dev data, but this app is pulling from our production data. And now if we hop back into our solution and want to make a small change in the app, like if we click into here, click edit, and I'm going to take this, duplicate it, and we're going to have this field pull from the email field. So inside of here, I'm going to select email. Good. I'm going to save it and publish it. And then now I'm going to hit back, come over here and back to our solutions, select the solution again, 
We're going to deploy it again and follow the same steps as last time. I don't have to choose this connection because it's there from last time. I click next. It automatically chose my destination site from last time, which is nice, but it did not choose the list. I have to come up here and pick the prod list again, which is kind of annoying. Ideally, you wouldn't have to set it here. I'm going to go look into using Power Automate or something more advanced like a CI CD pipeline to see if I can set that up for me. I'm going to talk to my friend Parvez Gumra, who's a deployment expert. If I find the answer to that, it'll be in the description. Click next, and I'm going to deploy it like usual. In production, I refresh the app, and as you can tell here, now it's pointing to using the email as well from here, which was the latest code change. Also, these are supposed to be fake emails, but I realized that might be an actual real email, so don't email that person. Thanks for watching. If you like to play with these kinds of architectural problems, definitely stay on my channel. If you're super interested in more Canvas app SharePoint stuff, you should probably check out my friend Andrew Hess where that's his bread and butter.